All right, the goal is three and a half minutes for the video. Let's see if we can keep this one short. But let's kind of start from the beginning here. YouTube, Warner Music Group, Little Spat, and all of Warner Music Group music, or anything that had Warner Music in it, was ripped off of YouTube. This included any video that happened to have Warner Music in it, even if it wasn't a music video featuring only Warner Music. Now this stayed like this for quite a long time. If you look up Warner Music Group on YouTube, you're probably going to hear a lot of the word, uh, I don't want to say the swear word, because I don't want to get flagged again for adult language here, but. Uh, a lot of words starting with the letter F and ending with the letter K, and it's not fire truck. But recently, this all basically uh, ended, supposedly, because Warner Music Group signed an agreement with YouTube, and they're going to allow Warner Music again on this site. So a lot of people are saying, hey, it's over. We won. This, the Warner Music War is over. And they've been saying to me, what, what do you have to say about this? What's your response? And my response is, um, yeah, and look, as far as I'm concerned, this is not over. It's hardly begun. I'm still getting reports that people are trying to upload videos that has more music and then those videos are being blocked or the audio is being muted. Also, there's still a lot of people whose videos are muted, the audio is muted from the entire video because it included a small portion of music that Warner Music Group owns. And mostly, and this is where I think we're gonna be running into a lot of problems here, a lot of people have had their accounts banned because they continued to put up music or they did not take down videos that had music from Warner Music Group. And those accounts have not been reinstated yet. So as far as I'm concerned, this ain't over. Until we get our videos back, until our audio comes back, until we do not have to fight to have our videos put back up because they happen to include copyrighted music under fair use. Sorry, it's still on, baby. But overall, the thing that's still on is that copyright law is still broken. Now, I've been having some very interesting email conversations back and forth with people, like I'm some kind of expert. I'm just another person. I'm just like you. The only difference is I've got a video camera and I'm not afraid to use it. So what this is telling me is that this is an issue that is not just going to go away. In another two years, when this contract comes up and all the war music is ganked again off of YouTube, we're all going to start screaming again about how unfair it is and how it's a bunch of, uh, I really want to swear, I really do, but I can't do it. What we need to do is we need to get our lawmakers to understand that we want them to change the law. But overall, what I think we can do as people is continue to do what we do. Continue to create. Continue to take art and take sciences and take all of these things. Even if they're copywritten, I, I'm not suggesting that we break any laws here. But take it, twist it, evolve it, move it on. At the risk of sounding hokey, I do want to kind of end this with something that was hanging in the cubicle at one of my high school teachers. Uh, I don't remember exactly what it said, but it was something along the lines of teachers can never know how far along their influence will go. And when you think of it that way, anybody who creates video, anybody who creates art, as hokey, as schlocky, as bad or as good as it can be, you don't know the extent of what you're going to inspire. You can never tell if something you create on a whim is going to inspire somebody else to create the next motion picture of sensation. I believe that the people who are in the business, the music industry, the recording industry, the movie industry, they're so busy manufacturing these things that they've forgotten that. So as far as I'm concerned, until copyright law is fixed, or at least amended, or at least made workable in a modern society, this ain't over yet. I would love for it to be, but it ain't over. And not only am I out of time, I'm out of do.